editing refers to the process of finding the errors and correcting them in a paragraph or a piece of writing. Now in your CBSE class 10 board exam, you get an exercise for editing which is of four marks. Now remember that there are no specific rules for spotting the error in a paragraph or piece of writing. You have to rely on your knowledge of grammar and your common sense to do this. Now the errors that are given usually relate to subject verb agreement, prepositions, tenses, verbs and modals, determiners, conjunctions and voice. When you do this, remember that you must read the paragraph and try to understand the main idea in it first. Then accordingly identify the tense that has to be used. Let us look at a sample paragraph. The following paragraph has not been edited. There is an error in each line. Write the error and its correction. Sachin Tendulkar is a best cricketer in India. He has played for more than 20 years on the country. He retired from the games last year. He is known for his skill in batting or fielding. Now this is the piece of writing which has to be edited. We have two columns given here. One is for the error in each line and the second is for the correction that has to be given for each line. Now let us read this piece of writing again. Sachin Tendulkar is a best. Now we know that best is the superlative form of comparison. Hence we always use the with it. So the first error is a in place of a it should be the so Sachin Tendulkar is the best cricketer in India. He has played for. Now whenever we have has followed by a verb, then it has to be the past participle form of the verb. So the error here is play. And the correct thing should be played. So he has played for more than 20 years on the country. He cannot play on the country. He has to play for the country. He retired from the games. Here we are referring to one particular game. So this is not correct. So games is the error and game is the correct word here last year. He is no for. Now he is no for. We do not say he is no for. We say he is known for. His skill in batting or fielding. Now he is known for both batting and fielding expertise. So here or is not correct. And it should be and. So the correct paragraph should read Sachin Tendulkar is the best cricketer in India. He has played for more than 20 years for the country. He retired from the game last year. He is known for his skill in batting and fielding. The following paragraph has not been edited. There is an error in each line against which a blank has been given. Write the error and its correction. So let us read this paragraph first. In the prisoner's room, a candle is burning dimly. A prisoner himself sat by the table, only him back, the hair by his head, and his hands are visible from outside through any window. Now when you read this paragraph, you realize that we are talking about something in the past. So the past tense is the correct tense to be used here. 
Now when you read this, you realize that every line here begins with a capital letter. So probably this is an excerpt from a poem. So do not regard this as the error in this piece of writing. Now let us read this in detail. In the prisoner's room, a candle is. Now we are talking in past tense. So this is not correct. So instead of is, it should be was. In the prisoner's room, a candle was burning dimly. A prisoner himself. Now when we have it written as a prisoner himself, we do not use a. Instead of a, it should be the. So the prisoner himself sat by the table. Only him back. Now him is a pronoun. But here we are not referring to a pronoun. We are referring to the prisoner's back. So we have to use only his back, the hair by his head. This is not correct. We are referring to the hair on his head. So the hair on his head and his hands are visible from outside. Again, we have to write it in past tense. So instead of are, it should be were. And his hands were visible from outside through any window. Now we are not referring to any window. We are referring to a particular window. So instead of any, it should be the. Now let us look at another example. Have you been criticized by teachers for shouted in the classroom? Here is something to cheer you up. Now experts have found as impulsive children that cannot resist shouting in the class score higher in tests to those who appear to be better behave and quiet. Now you will notice here that every corresponding line has not been given a blank. That means every line does not have an error in it. So let us read this again in detail. Have you been criticized by? Now here being is not correct. Instead of being, it should be. Have you been criticized by teachers for shouted in the? We do not say for shouted. We will say For shouting in the classroom, here is something. Now there is no blank line given here. So there is no error in this sentence. Here is something to cheer you up. This is an infinitive form. After to, we write the base verb. So instead of to cheered, it should be cheer. To cheer you up. Now experts have found as impulsive children. No, we are referring to some finding. So instead of as, it should be that. Now experts have found that impulsive children that cannot resist shouting. Now, that is referring to people, so we will not use that here, but we will use who. Who cannot resist shouting in the class, score higher in, there is no error in this line, test to those who appear to be. Now we are comparing, so instead of to those, it should be than those. In test than those who appear to be better behave and quiet. This is not correct. Instead of behave, it should be behaved. Let us look at this exercise. 
When Saina Nehwal landed in Hyderabad, his face was radiant of joy and happiness. The warm welcome who she received made her emotional. She said if she hadn't expected to see so many people which had travelled all the way to congratulate her. Now we are referring to something in the past. So past tense has to be used in this paragraph. Now let us read this again. When Saina Nehwal land in. So we are talking about something in the past. So this is not correct. So instead of land, we have to use landed. So when Saina Nehwal landed in Hyderabad, his face was radiant. Now we know that Saina Nehwal is a girl. So instead of his, we have to use her. Her face was radiant of joy and happiness. Now somebody's face is radiant, not of joy and happiness, but with joy and happiness. The warm welcome who she received. Now, who is referring to the warm welcome? It is not referring to a person. Hence, who is incorrect? So instead of who, we have to write that. The warm welcome that she received made her emotional. She said if she hadn't expected to see so. Let us read that part again. That she received made her emotional. She said if. No. She said that she hadn't expected to see. So to seeing is not correct. So instead of seeing, it should be see. She hadn't expected to see so many people which had traveled. Now which is referring to people. So instead of which, we have to write who. So many people who had traveled all the way to congratulate her. There is no error in the last line. Let us read this now. Summers in Delhi are extreme hot. Hot dry winds, no as loo, blow over a capital. Monsoon showers of the month of July and August makes the city look green or beautiful. Delhi is full of historically important buildings. Now let us read this again. Summers in Delhi are extreme hot. Now this is not the correct form of adverb. Instead of extreme, we should use extremely. So summers in Delhi are extremely hot. Hot dry winds, no as loo. Instead of no, we have to write known. So hot dry winds, known as loo, blow over a capital. Now we are referring to a particular capital. There is only one capital. So instead of a, we have to write the. Blow over the capital. Monsoon showers of the month of July and August. So we are referring to two months here. So this is not correct. So instead of month, it should be months. Monsoon showers of the months of July and August makes the city look. Now we have used makes with the plural noun showers. Hence this is not correct. We have to use a plural verb. So instead of makes, it should be make. So monsoon showers of the months of July and August make the city look green or beautiful. Now green, beautiful are related ideas. 
So instead of or, we have to use and. So monsoon showers of the months of July and August make the city look green and beautiful. Delhi is full of historically importance. Now importance is a noun. But here it is not correct. Instead of writing importance, We have to use important. So Delhi is full of historically important buildings. So today we have looked at various samples of editing. Now the trick to master them is to practice as much as you can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.